Okay, so I'm going to prime my face. I am using the Brightening Primer by Benefit. And because we're doing a gold look, we want it to look really um, dewy and alive. So I'll, I'll be using this one. Uh, this one really gives the skin a nice radiance to it while also filling in the pores as well. My inspiration for this look is the Dior Je Adore perfume um, and the advert for that and modelling that has this amazing dewy gold bronzy look. Um, so that's what I'll be doing today. Um, I'm going to use the Clinique's Beyond Perfecting foundation. Um, the model in it has a flawless skin and I believe this foundation really does give you great flawless skin. Um, so I'm just going to take this on the little applicator that it has. I'm just going to start adding this to my face. I'm going to blend all this out with a buffing brush. This is just a Real Techniques buffing brush. Make sure that we blend it all out. This foundation has amazing coverage and it leaves a lovely dewy finish to the skin as well. So giving that extra little bit of radiance as well to the skin. Okay, so now this is all blended out, I'm going to move on to concealer um, and contouring. I'm going to use just this palette that I got. It has like a range of different colours in it. I'm going to be taking the very lightest shade, this one over here, and um, one of the dark shades, this one, and this one, and this one. I'm going to mix them together with my contour shade, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to apply the concealer with a pointed foundation brush. Uh, this is also by Real Techniques. I'm just going to take a bit of the concealer shade um, and start applying that in a triangle section, triangle shape. <laughs> um, just under my eyes. I'm just going to take a little bit of NARS, NARS's Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. I'm just going to apply that straight onto my eye. It's just going to really brighten up those under eyes. Next I'm going to apply my contour. Um, I'm also going to use the same Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. I'm just going to start chiseling out those cheekbones. So you want to find where your cheekbone is, just the just beneath it, and that's where you want to apply your contour. So if you squeeze your cheeks in. And just along that edge is where the, just underneath your cheek um, And then I'm just going to take this just around my forehead, just a little bit. Down past my temples.
little bit just round the jawline. And I'm going to start blending this out. For the contour shade, I'm going to be using the Real Technique Sculpting Brush. It's a great brush to just buff out that contour um, and get rid of any harsh lines that it leaves. You want to make sure that you really blend this out. You don't want to have big massive dark lines on your face, so make sure you're blending it out, pushing it upwards rather than down. And then to blend out the concealer, I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender, use the use a small pointed edge to then just blend out that concealer. And you want to do this in little tapping motions, you don't want to be swiping the concealer, you want to press it into the skin rather than moving it around. So I want to make sure that my concealer stays in place. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Vici Derma Blend Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. So the Vici Derma Blend, yep. And I'm just going to apply this under my eye. I'm going to apply this quite heavily so that it sets all the concealer in place and then I will sweep it away after I've finished. To apply this under my eyes, I'm just gonna take a triangular sponge. You can find these at any boot store, any drug store. And I'm just gonna start applying that to my under eye. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this to neaten up my contour. Because we want a really bold, bronzy, gold look, I'm going to be using the Colour 24 Hour Tattoo Eyeshadow in the shade Eternal Gold. So first of all, I just want to define my crease a little bit. Um, I'm going to be taking the colour Caramel. I'm going to be taking a little bit of that on a blending brush. And I'm just going to apply that to my crease. Just taking this in little windscreen wiper motions and also circling it at the same time. This is just going to give you a little bit of definition to your crease, making the eyes appear a little bigger. Now that I've finished finding my crease, um, I want to make the outer corner of my eye look a little bit more bronzy. So I'm going to take the colour Copper from the Lorac Mega Pro palette and I'm just going to apply that to the outer corners of my eyes. I am going to use a small paddle brush just so that I can make this nice and precise and then I can blend it out with a blending brush afterwards. I'm then just going to go back in with my blending brush 
and the color caramel again and just blend that together. So I'm going to take this gold color from Maybelline on a small, flat, compact brush. This brush is from Eco Tools, great brush, double-ended. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take some of that gold and start packing that on the lid. Take that gold colour down into the inner corners, just take that along the lower lash line, just, just to about the centre. And then just to make sure that that colour stays in place because it is quite a creamy colour. I'm going to take this beautiful gold colour by MAC in the centre here and I'm just going to put that over the top with the same brush where I applied that gold. And this is just going to make sure that it stays in place, doesn't move around. And give it that extra little bit of goldness. And then just to blend it all together again, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that copper colour on the other side of this brush, small little blending brush, just blend that together. And then on the same small blending brush, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that copper and mix it with a little bit of caramel. Mix that with a little bit of caramel. And I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line on the outer section. Now that we've finished the majority of the eye, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to take a spoolie going to brush my eyebrows through, make sure that they're all going in the same direction and then I'm going to use Max Spiked Eyebrow Pencil um, in the colour dark brown. I'm just going to start filling in any sparse areas on my eyebrows. And then to finish up the inner corner of my eyebrow, I'm going to be taking a flat angled brush and I'm going to use this number seven beautiful eyebrow kit. And I'm just going to be taking the lightest shade here to fill in the inner section of my eyebrow. I'm going to use a little bit of NARS's Creamy Concealer. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use a small concealer brush just to clean up any, just to clean up the edges around my eyebrows. And this will give them a really clean and crisp look. I'm just going to finish up my face so um, I'm just going to take a big big powder brush I'm just going to brush all of that translucent powder away
I'm going to set this contour um, with a little bit of Benefit's Hoola Bronzer. I'm just going to take this on a flat brush, very narrow brush. This one's by NARS. I'm just going to start I'm just going to revisit where we added in that, com that creamy contour shade. Because we want this look to be really bronzy and glowy, I'm going to use this highlight Radiance palette by Revolution. Um, I'm going to be taking this darker shade here and also um, the lightest shade here. Um, and I'm gonna use the darker shade to bronze up my cheeks um, and the lightest shade to highlight the very highest points of my cheekbones. Um, and I'm just gonna be taking that on a, just on a small, just on a small powder brush. I'm just gonna dab that in there, tap off any excess and then start bronzing up my cheeks. To highlight, I'm just going to take a fan brush, the very lightest shade, and just apply that to the very highest point of my cheekbones. Lashes here. Now that my lashes are applied, I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeliner and I'm just going to line my bottom waterline and also my top waterline. I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using the telescopic Black Extreme Mascara by L'Oreal. I'm just going to apply that to help that blend my false lashes with my real lashes. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video.